people are saying that if the Bills defense would have hit Tom Brady the way Josh Allen got hit, that none of those guys would be playing in the league anymore. Incredible thought. I heard Micah Hyde say that where Kyle if guy. we were to hit – is he really? Yes, he is. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. If we were to hit 12 like that, we would have been suspended from the game, kicked out of the game. Very interesting statement because as soon as I heard it, my first thought was, well, you never hit Tom Brady like that because anytime Tom Brady even senses a human around him, he goes down. Just like Peyton Manning, just like Eli Manning, just like all the greats. Anytime they sense anything around them, they just go down. And sometimes it looks terrible. Sometimes it looks embarrassing. Sometimes they look like the softest humans on planet Earth because they think somebody's coming and they get down. Tom Brady actually gave out a response. He said that he wouldn't do that. That is something that he had to learn because when he was younger, he did take a couple massive hits, and he hopes that Josh Allen will learn in this case as well. Because for this hit that Josh Allen received that gave him a concussion, knocked him out of the game, which made the Bills Mafia rely on Matt Barkley against the New England Patriots when they had the Patriots on the ropes. Nobody will remember that in five weeks from now when the Patriots rally off another five wins, that the Bills should have beat the New England Patriots, just like the Chiefs should have beat the New England Patriots last year, but D. Ford was lined up offsides. But for that comment to be said where if we were to hit 12 like that, then we would be kicked off. I respect it because you're going to bat for your guy. Mm -hmm. I like any time a locker room goes to bat for their guy. But that Josh Allen hit, I think, was a victim of circumstance on both parties. I think Josh Allen was being tackled, so his, uh, his level, I believe his head level, was lowered just a little bit, where John Jones, whatever his name was, Josh Jones, didn't mean to hit him right in the head. The optics of Jones flexing over top of a knocked out concussed quarterback is not great but for me Josh Allen was trying to make a play and trying to run somebody over and that hit was a bang bang type of situation you would never see Tom Brady in that situation nope. he's almost 50 years old he's not trying to run over anybody at this age he's sliding going down so I don't think the comparison is right but with that being said, Tom Brady, these other gifted quarterbacks that are the faces of not only their franchise but the NFL, I would assume they get treated much better than a quarterback who has to run the way he does to be effective, who could potentially miss a throw that is very simple, who is very much an emotion guy. Cam Newton got treated like this in the day, too, because Cam Newton was like, hey, I'm getting hit, and you're not calling it where these other people are getting hit. And all the rest would say, was like, yeah, but you could potentially break through that tackle and make a play. You're a different animal than these old slow whites mm -hmm. now josh allen is a freak athlete and he's trying to compare himself to old slow whites now people are saying that people are saying this Vontez Perfect has been suspended for the rest of the year by the NFL. Wow. We have some breaking news. So Mike Greenberg's question about should the NFL players step up and say, hey, you're not welcome in our league anymore. They didn't even get a chance to say anything. Old Commissioner Goodell in the NFL grabbed a hammer from Thor, slugged that thing down, hit the hell out of a table and said, Vontez Perfect, we are sick of the way you play Football. You tried to decapitate Jack Doyle. This is the 13th time you've been involved in these types of situations. That makes a Baker's dozen, and there will be no more for you this year. Will the Raiders or another team keep him on their team next year? Potentially, but I think this particular year, since he's suspended, by the way, he can't be around the team. He can't be at the team facility. He's going to have to sit away. Is he going to go to a tackling guru, somebody to teach him how to play a different style of football? I doubt it. Is this the end of Vontaze? Has Burfick's career. I think we could all argue, yes. Do I hate that that's the case? I think he could have been a great football player, but not being able to adapt to the new NFL, not being able to adapt knowing that the rules are the rules because of studies and analytics that show the health and benefit of future football players is on the line. I think this is a uh, see you later. Game's better without him. And I think, like you mentioned earlier, if he doesn't leave the field acting like a horse's ass, blowing kisses to him and everything and almost like celebrating it, then maybe they look at it a little, a little bit differently. But because it's like, all right, well, screw this guy. You know, he's a jerk. Uh, he's a stooge. He's a sellout. Get him off the field. <laughs> Anytime you can get a stooge or a sellout in, by the way, I like it. I've tried to work it in a couple times today. The moments just wasn't right. Yeah, you can't force it. No, you can't. You can't force a, a good thing there. And stooge and sellout is a good thing. But when you're talking about Vontez Perfect, you're talking about a stooge and sellout. I wonder what the Raiders are thinking now. Because the Raiders, if you look at their roster... By the way, 
They played incredible against they the Colts did. yesterday. Colts are very banged up. When you don't have T.Y. Hilton, who's the most underrated, underappreciated wide receiver in the NFL, and you don't have Darius Leonard, and you don't have all these guys, it's going to be a tough task to get a win anyways. But the Oakland Raiders played good football yesterday. Mm-hmm. And whenever I was looking at their roster as they walked into Lucas Oil Stadium, it was funny to me. Richie Incognito was voted the dirtiest football player in the game for like five years running whenever he was at Buffalo. Vontez Burfitt got that title like four or five years in a row as well. They have a combined decade worth of worst, dirtiest football players in the league on the same roster. You would think that maybe as you get older, you can learn not to be that. You can learn and appreciate other players a little bit. But, hey, hard teaching old dog new tricks. Vontez Perfect goes head hunting with the top of his helmet, uses his helmet as a spear, as a weapon, tries to decapitate and paralyze Jack Doyle. And now the NFL, the Shield, has said, no longer will you be doing that in our league. Get the hell out. And uh, that's a pretty big decision by the NFL, by the way. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I, I kind of understand them trying to build, like, the nasty culture and everything. I just always assumed it was because uh, Derek Carr is soft as baby poop. But, you know, m- maybe maybe it was, you know, for a different reason. But it looks like it's backfiring. Coach Gruden uh, talking to Mike Mayock. Uh, Mike Mayock comes in and goes, our team's leader is Derek Carr. He's a bit soft, Coach. What do you think? Yeah, that, uh, that's one horse that just uh, is, I can't lead him to water. I'll tell you that. I've had it up to here with this guy, up to my eyeballs. He's a baby. He's a wuss. I'm tired of him. Get me Glennon or get me uh, give me the, whoever the hell you got, all right? just I, I'm done with Derek Carr. Well, Ritz Gannon isn't going to come play. We can get some tough guys, though, maybe toughen up this team. Is that what you want, Coach? Uh, I wouldn't hate Is Brad Johnson still available? <laughs> That son of a gun can sling it like no one else. He's, he's tougher than nails, too. Something Derek Carr should maybe learn how to do. Rich Gannon was calling the game. Oh, he was. Rich Gannon was calling the game in Indianapolis and listening to him talk about Gruden and how Gruden reacts and after games and how hard he is on his quarterback. It was very interesting because I could just see Derek Carr just having to battle with Gruden, just breathing down his neck at all times. Yeah, I just don't think they like each other. I don't think so either. The future is not Carr and Gruden, although they got a big win yesterday. I can tell you that their future is not Fontes Perfect.